what is up everyone, Norman from Future Studio University here. Welcome to the fifth video in our Retrofit series. Before we get started, you should know that you can find the content as tutorials and all the code snippets for easy copy and pasting on our website. The link is the first thing in the description below. Alright, let's get started. In this short video, we will look at sending data along with multi-part requests, which are used for uploading files. In the previous video on uploading files with Retrofit, we set the base for this one. If you haven't seen it yet, you might want to do so now. I will also link it in the description below. In this video, we will change how much data we will send along the file. First, we will just add a few more properties, and then second, we will use a part map annotation to dynamically handle properties. Just as a reminder, multi-part requests are HTTP requests, which are usually used if you're trying to send files to the server. Retrofit supports multi-part requests out of the box. Now let's look at the zip implementation from the last video. We have built an Android app which lets the user select a photo file, add a description, and upload it to the server. In order to do so, we described an endpoint, upload photo. You can see quite a few annotations in action. The multipart annotation to specify that it's a multipart request, and the part annotation for describing a single part. Last time, we only sent a single string along the file. In this video, we want to send a bunch. So let's create a second interface method for it. Let's just copy and paste it. And add a few down here. So let's add a location. So photographer. And maybe is a year. We also need to change the description of each part. Alright, we're already done here, so let's jump to the main activity. Just like last time, I've prepared a few things in the main activity. We still have all the file and permission handling, but I also extracted two new helper methods. So down here, we have the create part from string method. It simply creates a request body for a passed string. Also, we have a prepare file part method, which takes a file URI, takes a name, and creates the OKHTTP okay multipart body part object. This makes it a little bit easier if you have more than just one file and one description. If you're confused about either of those methods, you might want to watch the first video on uploading files with Retrofit. Thanks to the helper method, the actual programming now is quite easy. You can simply call the upload method like we did in the past and add all the new data. So let's try this out. Let's copy and paste this three times. And instead of using always description, let's copy this in. Uh, I think I need to be careful that I have the order correctly. So let's check this out. Okay, it's location before photograph. Right. Already done with the first part. All right, let's try this out. Description is just gonna be retrofit. Location is Magdeburg, Germany. This is 2017. Photo was just me. And I'm going to select a file, retrofit. And as you can see, our API breakpoint triggered, and we can look at our request payload. And yippee, we have all four parts. We have the description, we have the location, we have the photographer, we have the year, and the photo itself, which is the, is the file. All right, excellent. Now this works fine for most scenarios, but it has a few limitations. For example, if you have some default values you always want to send, like the client is an Android app, you would need to hard code it into every single request. Additionally, if you have a lot of parts, like 20 or more, this can get quite confusing and it's way too easy to mix up the order, just like it happened to me a few minutes ago. Also, using our previous approach, if one of these fields is empty, Retrofit will still send an empty string, which might not be what you want. The solution for all of these issues is the part map annotation. Let's go back to the endpoint interface declaration and add another option with the part map. Now instead of a list of separate parameters, Let's change this to a map of parts. So let's simply copy and paste one more time. Remove the three things, change this to part map. And this should be a map of 
Nie ma go spali. Alright, the map is type string request body, where the string is what the part will be called once it arrives on the server, and the request body is the extra content. So this is everything we need to do here. Next, we need to look at the implementation in the activity. Now instead of adding a new call, let's change the existing one to use our part map. First, we need to create a map object and pass it as a parameter to our client call. So we're going to remove all our previous objects and simply pass a part map. And as you can see, it already uh, selects the correct upload photo method. After creating the map, we could set some default values. If you're using these default values throughout the app, you should probably create a central get method or something like that, where you return an initialized map with these set default values. But for now, we're just going to add part map and maybe put a client and we can still use our helper method from previously so our client is always an android app and we've also sent some default secret which is just going to be hunter2 These default values are always going to be with every request, no matter what the user puts in his little edit text. Next up are our four fields, which we still want to send. In order to send them to the server, we also need to add them to the part map. Unlike before, we only want to send them if they're not empty. So let's check if the description is empty, and if not, we will create a new part and then add it to the map. So let's check if this is empty before we add it to the map. And of course, this needs to be negative. All right, let's do this for the other three parts as well. Of course, we need to change this. Now on your app, you should probably extract this into its own helper method, but for our demo, it's good enough. Let's run this and see what arrives on the server side. All right, let's put in the same thing as before. Maybe tell photo of us Norman, so I no, I'm not cheating. And click JSON instead of retrofit. And yes, our API breakpoint triggered again. As you can see, we have two new values. Once the client, which was one of our default values, and also the secret. The photograph will change since I previously had me, now I change it to Norman, and the file changed to JSON as well. Excellent. It's time to review what you should take away from this video.
You have seen a way of sending multiple parts along with the request and how to even choose the parts dynamically. This can be quite useful when you have some default parts you always want to send and you have a large selection of parts and are usually only sending a small portion of them. In the next video, you will learn how to upload multiple files at the same time. Additionally, we will show you a way of sending a dynamic amount of files. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you've learned something and subscribe if you want to see more videos in this series. Make it rock and enjoy coding.